Hello everybody, it's Friday and I am going to make a sopa de alfabeto, alphabet soup, Mexican. So I'm browning, what I'm doing, what I've done is I, I bought a, a pre-packed hamburger patty 10 pack from Kroger and I'm using two of the patties and it works good for me because I have to cook for myself now and I'm always so used to cooking for so many people. And that the, the way the patties are separated, it helps me um, not waste, not waste so much food, you know what I mean? Or cook too much. And then I have to eat leftovers for like a week. And I like leftovers and I don't mind, but if they have tomatoes in it, 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 it I don't really like to eat stuff with tomatoes, leftovers, or mushrooms or anything like that. But So I'm browning this meat right now. And I will uh, let you know. I I before I've uh, I've chopped up celery and uh, small, and I'm going to add that to this once it browns. I'm going to add that with my onion. I used about half a small onion, sliced, uh, two small two small potatoes, chopped, roughly chopped, and then I'm going to roughly chop this tomato. And then I like to roughly chop my cilantro too. I, I like for I like to see my veggies in my food whenever I'm eating it. Um, and over here, I in my little grinder, whatever you call this, um, uh, I put about a, ta a half a tablespoon of whole cumin and two cloves of garlic and about. A teaspoon of salt and I mixed it I ground it really good so that's what's gonna go in here once I've sauteed the um, onions and the celery Ooh. so I'll come back okay so the ground beef is is brown so now I added my half a small onion sliced you can you can roughly slice them I I kind of small to medium small to roughly slice them you know what I mean regular and then I uh, added my green, uh, one, one little stalk of green onion, chopped. Like I said, I don't really care to roughly find my chop. I, I like I like to see my vegetables in the soup when I'm eating it. And uh, we're gonna do this for about a minute and a half or two. And uh, saute that, and then I'm gonna add my spices. I'm gonna add, Usually it's about half a tablespoon of paprika, about a teaspoon or two of pepper. I just roughly, I just pour it in there. I don't really measure it. Ground cumin, about a teaspoon, and then garlic, about uh, you know a tablespoon of it. And I added salt into the mixture where I ground the cumin and the garlic. So sometimes I, if it, if it still needs salt, I'll add maybe some of this, maybe a teaspoon of this bouillon stuff. So I'm about to add some of this uh, celery that I chopped. So it's been about a minute, I mean two minutes. So now I'm gonna add that one tomato. I'm gonna stir fry that for a minute. Some people uh, peel off the skin off of the tomato, but sorry, I had to answer the phone. That was my ex calling. He always calls me when I'm busy cooking. <laughs> it's true. Anyway, okay, so um, so that's cooking there, and now I'm gonna add all my spices. Give me, give me a little. Hold up. Okay, so here's those ground cumin that I had ground over there on that ground grinder and, and garlic salt. So I'm going to add that there. If you have never never used fresh ingredients like this, oh my God, it gives it such a bigger flavor. Okay, so add that much of this. It doesn't have to be smoked paprika, paprika it could be any kind. Um, I don't know, a little bit of powder and I like to add more ground, uh, ground cumin, comino, and my garlic powder. I love that. Now stir all that stuff together. 
You're going to let it saute for about a minute just to let the, the ingredients that you added cook. I don't know, it, it just seems to give it a better flavor when it's cooked in a little bit of oil. Okay. And I had already um, toasted, browned these uh, Alphabet's pasta. Uh, I used the Moderno brand. Hold on. Back here. I don't know if you can see it right, but the Moderno brand, Alphabet Letras, and I had already toasted it in this pan before, you know, before the ground beef, I just set it aside. So then now I'm going to add that. Just kind of stir fry there, and then now add your potatoes. I, I can eat soup all the time, even without meat, but I added a little bit of ground beef to it. It gives it a little extra flavor. You can make this without the, without the meat. And just stir it. Stir it for about a minute. You don't have to stir it, but let it sit there for about 30 seconds. A lot of people love to stir, 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 but this, you know, you just let it sit there for about 30 seconds. 15, 20, 30 seconds, it doesn't matter, but just let it cook. And then, then stir it again. I love doing fresh veggies in, in my sopa. When I started cooking when I was little, I was probably about... 13 years old, and we would have to cook. We would come home from work, from school, and cook dinner. And I started making sopa, soup. And then later when we got the soup set down, my dad was like, hey, I'll start adding meat, because dad would get home later. My mom would get home late, like at 10.30 p.m. from work. And uh, like, can you add, start adding some meat? So we started, I started adding meat, and then not little by little, okay? So what I do is, it's been on this, this whole time, so then I'll put it on high. Let it get hot for a minute. And then, uh, I would say a minute, but it's like, whatever. Then I add, this was eight, this was my eight cups of water measurement on this, uh, you can't see it, but eight cups there, eight cups. But, of hot water, I, I use faucet water. Some people want to use bottled water, but I use faucet water. So I put it on high so it can get to a boil quickly for me. And um, let me come back, see how long it takes it for it to boil, but you'll see. So it took about four minutes to boil because it was pretty hot already. So now I'm going to lower it down to, I like to do it like this. It's about on these uh, electric stoves. And this is the time that you're gonna taste it to see if it needs any more salt. Hold on. Sorry about making y'all dizzy. To me, it's fine because I tried to stay away from salt, but some other people may want to salt it a little more. Um, I had put like a, I don't know, maybe a, a three-fourths of a tablespoon of salt into that masher, that little rock masher that I had. And so then I'm going to cover it. And I'm going to set my timer for... about 20 minutes and I'll come back. All right, so it's done. I added about a teaspoon of that chicken bouillon that I told y'all about. It's just sopa, soup, 
with ground beef. And you can always add more water if you want to. I, I didn't add that much because it's hot outside, so <laughs> I don't really need anything to warm me up, but there it is, the soup, sopa, people that love. There you go. Delicioso.